Welcome back everyone to another Polygonmatic video. If you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So the first thing here over the weekend I wanted to show you all is a tweet from Dom, who is the creator of Vine, which was obviously an extremely popular app and sort of TikTok before TikTok, and also many other apps and projects such as Loot, which Loot is another NFT project that became very popular very fast. And he tweeted this, We'll try to do a proof of concept for Dungeon on Polygon, but should work on any L2 or alt chain. So Dom is going to be doing some work using Polygon. I think he probably understands, like we all do, that Ethereum is just not usable for everyone at this point. I have noticed crypto Twitter has been talking about and acknowledging scaling solutions much more than they used to, but again, $100 fees is just not going to work, and this is exactly what Polygon is here to do, scale Ethereum and become Ethereum's internet of blockchains, right? So I'm just really happy to see Layer 2s and sidechains finally getting the recognition that they deserve, because at the end of the day, you're still within the Ethereum ecosystem and using Ethereum security, but just processing transactions off chain in order to speed things up and allow for those cheaper fees. So just a quick little tweet I wanted to show you all, great to see this happening. The future is definitely multi-chain and the faster that we can all agree on that, the better user experience and adoption will happen within this ecosystem. But moving on now, Acura Network, which is powered by Polygon, had their first private sale today and sold out within seconds. Now I have talked about Acura Network quite a bit on this channel because I see lots of potential with this project. I've also had conversations with the team behind it and really like what they are doing here and what they are going to offer once their platform fully launches. I definitely recommend checking them out. This is something that I think will truly help a lot of traders and investors. You're going to have access to data analytics. You'll be able to add orders to bridge and much, much more. Whether you are new to trading or you're more experienced, I think this is one of those platforms that could really benefit and help everyone. So I am super excited about Acura network. And the next news piece I wanted to quickly touch on before we jump into the chart is Showtime is now live on Polygon. With this, Showtime allows creators to mint gas-free NFTs on the Polygon POS chain. So of course this medium will be in the description, but Showtime is the rising NFT social network and is coming to Polygon Studios. So this is another thing that we have briefly touched on before, but Polygon users can now sign up to this waiting list to create an NFT for free on on Showtime using a crypto wallet. Scrolling down a little bit here, later this year, Showtime will add marketplace features so users can list, buy and sell their work on the Polygon network. So again, more exposure to the NFT space. NFTs have exploded and I don't see them going away. Yes, there will be bear markets just like any other market, but what we are seeing with NFTs is truly a massive cultural movement. And also the co-founder of Polygon put out this tweet earlier today. Seems like many people are still not aware that NFTs can easily be transferred from L1 to Polygon and vice versa. So if you didn't know, you can actually transfer NFTs back and forth between Polygon and Ethereum. And then he goes on to say, our bridge supports these transfers using a model similar to the one we use for fungible ERC20 tokens. And then you can read more details here. I will put this down below as well. But again, it's so great that we are seeing all of this adoption happening on the Polygon network, but at the same time, there's still things you can do using Polygon that a lot of people don't know about. And obviously the more time goes on, the more users will figure this stuff out, but this is the kind of information we should be sharing as a community to help get the word out. Because at the end of the day, the reason somebody wouldn't want to use OpenSea on Polygon might just be because they don't know that they're able to do this. So lack of knowledge is definitely something that is an issue in the crypto space as a whole, and is really one of the main reasons why I made this YouTube channel. I want to try to inform as many people as I can on news and things that some people simply aren't aware of. But that is kind of the last thing that I wanted to touch on in regards to 
the news updates today. Now let's go ahead and jump into the chart. So the price of Matic today is down to $1.24 in the red 6% and the market cap 8.2 billion. So the crypto market dropping again today and a decent amount. And earlier this morning, I had noticed that the market was down already, but some of you may have heard about the Litecoin news today, or should I say the fake Litecoin news today. So a few different media outlets and the official Litecoin Twitter page put out tweets today saying that Walmart will soon be accepting Litecoin as a form of payment. Then about 15 minutes or so later, it was announced that this was not true. The Litecoin Twitter page ended up deleting this tweet as well. So there was a little bit of drama on crypto Twitter, which is something that we are quite used to. But when that Litecoin news first dropped, the entire market actually pumped quite a bit for those few minutes that everyone believed that it was true. But after it was announced that it was fake, the market then dumped even lower than it was before. So I put out this tweet kind of explaining what had happened and said, hey, welcome to crypto. Because the crypto space in general is like no other market. It seems like any day you wake up, something new or crazy has happened. And I think this just goes to show how early we are in this adoption phase. It may not always feel like you are early and sometimes you might even feel like you're kind of late, but you have to keep in mind the average person still has no idea even what Bitcoin is or doesn't have any clue what an NFT is. They've maybe heard about crypto, but have never really paid attention attention to it, and Bitcoin has only been around for 12 years, which is not a long time at all for adoption of an entirely new financial market. So I guess my point here is this is one of the big reasons why short-term price action is so unpredictable. Markets in general are unpredictable, but crypto is still kind of in its maturing phase, and the market can get really spooked really easily. Or vice versa, the market can also get overly greedy easily as well. But at the end of the day, this is why it's important to invest in those projects that you have high conviction in and that bring real value to the crypto space that will win long term. Not investing in something due to hype or short term gains, but what is a project that will be around in the long term? And this is why I am bullish on Polygon. I put out this tweet yesterday. I think I've just come up with a genius plan to solve the biggest issue in crypto. The problem? Ethereum gas fees. Solution? Use Polygon. And it really is that simple. Polygon solves really the biggest issue in the crypto space, which is scalability. But on top of that, they are a multi-chain solution and also now diving heavily into zero knowledge, which will be the future of scaling in my opinion. But moving back to the price of Matic here, right now in the short term, pretty much sideways action now for the last few weeks. We did see this $1.30 support broken as of now, and the next level of support is right down here at about $1.20. So $1.20 is the next level you'll want to see hold moving forward. There is still a little bit of uncertainty right now in the market, but again, Again, if you can focus on the long term, open up your chart and zoom out, these pullbacks or market dips are very insignificant to the macro point of view. And if you believe in Polygon and what they're doing, I think we're still in great shape. But of course, only invest in things you believe in or that you see have value. And I know I say this a lot, but it's true because crypto isn't going to move when you want it to most of the time. There's going to be boring moments. There's going to be times when things are slow or pulling back. But this is the type of thing that the people that are looking for those short-term gains get flushed out. But that's why I always talk about the long-term because in the long-term, I do believe that Matic will provide us with some pretty significant gains. And if you have conviction, if you've done your research and you truly believe in the project, you're much less likely to sell on every pullback that the market gives you. So just keep those things in mind. But as we know, a lot of this price action is going to depend on Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are right now slumping in price as well. But so far, Ethereum is still holding this major support zone. ETH did see a bounce off of that 50-day moving average earlier today, but again, still holding fairly strong here, which is key to continuing this bullish upside move here in the short term. So if Ethereum can hold here, I do believe that Polygon Matic will hold this $1.20 level. This $1.20 level is going to be the most important level for Matic. This $1.30 will possibly be working as a resistance though moving forward. And a lot of the time, once everyone starts to become bad, again, that's when the big moves to the upside tend to happen. But that is going to be it guys for today's video. Just wanted to give you some quick updates on my thoughts on the current state of the market. Make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out on any of these update videos. Leave a like, it really helps me out and I will see you all next time.